Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi hello, my name is Loey. Before we start talking about today's video, there's something I kind of want to pick a bone with you guys about. I've always incorporated plushies into the background of my videos and I think a lot of you know that, but when I started filming in my bedroom, I really thought someone, anyone, would ask why it's exclusively orange cats. And it's because I have a senior cat named Named Gigi. She's 13 years old and doesn't like very much, including me sometimes, so she rarely leaves my room. And I thought it would be funny to kind of like create a shrine on the bed where she spends the most time of just like other orange cats. So she had little minions to boss around. Anyway, I kept waiting for anyone to ask about it and no one ever did, which is kind of cool. I think you guys just accept how weird I am all the time, but that's why I have exclusively orange cat plushies on the bed. Anyway, back to the video. There is something on TikTok I have been obsessed with for months. You already know it's me, so you know it's spooky, but I really didn't want to make a full video on it until I kind of thought that the story had some kind of resolution or until I had time to sit down and watch every single video. What I'm referring to is maybe one of the craziest haunted dolls I've ever seen on TikTok. And outside of Charlotte the Haunted Doll, which was pretty quickly debunked, we haven't talked about a true like crazy haunted doll story in a while. This all starts one day when TikTokers It's Chris Starr and Kelsey Davies go thrift shopping. Both of these women are in the paranormal space online and are both mutuals of mine. Chris actually runs a really cool crystal shop and also is hyper spiritual and talks about spirituality online. And then Kelsey is a medium who also has two haunted dolls that she regularly talks about on her account. So one day as they're hanging out together, Chris and Kelsey go to this antique mall here in Los Angeles. And Kelsey was documenting various like items and things that she sort of picked up energy from and just noticed like a weird vibe about throughout the shop. They literally have themselves meeting the haunted doll on camera for the first time. What I felt in this haunted antique store, I saw the ghost of an older man standing by these shelves. He was looking at one of these objects. This painting was a bit unsettling to me. This guy was kind of cute. No one has bought the one that I felt a spirit of a sad man with. This room made me feel like someone was staring at me. Creepy. Chris wandered off but I found her. Then we came across this super creepy object. We both had a hard time breathing being near it. Then both of our phones started glitching. It felt hot when I picked it up. Then I got a sharp pain in my left arm. This crazy bitch bought it. We will keep you updated. The doll makes it back with them and Chris posts this very first video about the doll in which they use various ghost hunting devices to communicate with the doll, kind of affirm that, you know, there's some kind of attachment as well as talk about what has happened so far. Today we went to an antique store and we found this weird, creepy, voodoo looking doll that we were both drawn to. We have not taken it out of the packaging yet because we don't know if that's a good idea, but we are getting really bad vibes from it. We brought it back to Kelsey's apartment. It fell off the freaking counter and the EMF meter is going off. Both of our phones As we're talking about opening it, both of our phones are in airplane mode. Ah! We're gonna do a spirit box session and see what exactly is attached to Voodoo Man over here. But <laughs> let us know your comments down below. He is going outside on the balcony. Like he is not staying in here tonight. We're scared to take him out of the packaging. He said rude, it goes rude. Who is attached to this man? I heard a name. Can you tell us your name if, if you even have one? Oh my god, wait, I can't breathe again. My back, my entire back <coughs> is just in pain. I'm really hot. Can you, can you hold him? I'm actually getting really uncomfortable. When we were in the store... What was that big bang? That was the stairs. Kelsey asked if we should be scared and the EMF meter spiked. spiked. Dude, my left arm's hurting again. Maybe the way he died, he had an issue breathing? I thought I just heard, I want to kill you, but I'm just gonna- I know, that's that. what I heard too. Something. I'm gonna ignore that. Why are you making us feel sick? 
I keep getting whiff of like an egg smell. Sulfur smells are usually something demonic. Like it smells demonic. bad. I don't know why we were so drawn to this, but when I first saw it, I thought it was a voodoo doll. And it's actually just an acupuncture man, some sort of like vintage acupuncture doll. I think it was used for other things. Some of the things happening around the doll include, but certainly do not seem limited to, the doll flying off of a counter by itself, doors closing on their own and locking themselves from the other side, causing people in Kelsey's apartment, including Kelsey, like not to feel well, to feel weird. They keep catching the smell of sulfur, which usually in the paranormal world means that there's some kind of demonic entity present. So this is all happening and Kelsey, this is Kelsey's apartment that Chris is hanging out at, and Kelsey's just like, this thing cannot sleep in my house. This thing cannot stay in here. I do not trust this thing. Chris agrees, so they put it out on the balcony for the night, but it couldn't just stay there indefinitely. There's been all of these crazy paranormal things happening around the doll and Chris needs to go back to New Jersey. And so she makes the choice to put the doll inside of her storage unit, but not before having another conversation with the doll on camera. Update on my haunted doll. In case you guys missed my last video, I recently purchased this antique acupuncture doll from an antique store. And I've been staying at my friend Kelsey's house with him, but he has been outside on her balcony, sealed in a salt ring of protection because he is not allowed inside. A lot of weird things have been happening since I brought him into her house. He is incredibly active as you can see as the EMF meter is going off. He's been making her boyfriend feel really sick as well as me and keeping me up all night. So we are here at my storage unit and I'm dropping him off, sealing him in a salt ring of protection again where he will be staying indefinitely. I did do a bunch of spirit box sessions with him and it seems like there are multiple spirits attached. Weird things have been happening in Kelsey's house like things turning on by themselves, doors opening, and doors actually locking by themselves from the inside as well. Can you make this go off for me? Every single time, look. Can you make that go off for me again? There is something. I'm looking to reach out to the spirit or spirits attached to this doll. How many of you are there? Two. Two! It said two before in previous videos. Is there really something demonic with this doll? Yes or no? This EMF meter is going off. Did that say yes? I... We need to go inside. In part two, Chris talks a little bit more about the doll and goes ahead and takes it to her storage unit. Part two of dropping my very haunted doll off at my storage unit because he's been a very bad Went to the store, I got a huge thing of salt. All right, here we go, guys. It is so creepy in here. Here we are. It's a little bit of a mess, so I don't know where he's gonna go, but we gotta find him a place. I cleared a space in here, but this keeps going off. Like, look at this. I'm using natural sea salt. I'm gonna put a ring of salt around him and then I'm going to bind him to this circle. It's so important that we make sure that the entities are binded to this salt circle so that he cannot f with anybody else, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna do a double salt and we need it a little extra. Oh my God, ever since I put the salt around him this is going crazy calling in my guides and my angels to help protect me against all evil and whatever evil entities may be attached to this doll please bind this entity or entities in this salt ring of protection for he or she or whoever it is is here to stay indefinitely i surround myself with love and light and the protection of my guides and my angels I am protected and nothing is to interfere with me. Okay, okay, he is in. Let's get the f out of here. Once in the storage unit, the doll is enclosed in a circle of thick salt. And this is supposed to keep whatever is attached to the doll contained within that circle. But you can literally see the EMF reader start to go crazy when Chris pours this salt. 
whatever is attached to the doll does not seem to like this. But there's a small detail in this video in which Chris puts the doll in the storage unit and creates a salt circle that you may have missed but many other people on TikTok caught, which is that as the door was coming down to the storage unit, the rope that you could use to like obviously grab the door when it's really high up, cut into the salt circle, breaking it and making it ineffective. Here's an update on my incredibly haunted doll that I was forced to put into my storage unit, but guys, I think I messed up big time. This is him. He quite literally looks like a voodoo doll. If you guys want to know what's going on, go watch my previous videos. There was like major, major concern. I got so many comments that there was a string attached to the door and as I was closing it, it may have interfered or broken the salt circle. The purpose of this ring of protection is to make sure that he is binded inside of it, inside of the storage unit so that he does not interfere with anybody else. So I have to go back to New Jersey, but I was talking to my friend Kelsey earlier who lives in LA and she offered to go back and check on the doll. Chris makes a video to address this and just says how she's a little bit worried that she messed up, but as far away from Los Angeles as she currently is, there's not much further you can get across the country from Los Angeles to New Jersey there's not much she can currently do. This could be where the story ended. After all, Chris is across the country, Kelsey is in her home in Los Angeles, but the doll is nowhere near her, it's just in this storage unit, but the salt circle has been broken. And one day Chris gets the most disturbing phone call. Guys, my storage unit where I'm keeping my haunted doll just called me with noise complaints. I'm literally shaking, I'm about to call them back. You have to hear this. I'm looking to speak with about the concern with your unit. Intuitively, I've just been feeling really terrible about leaving it in my storage unit in California. Oh my God. Hi, thanks for calling my storage. This, this is Veronica, how can I help you? Hi, my name is and I'm just returning your phone call. And yes, a security guard heard scratching from inside your unit last night. And we have a very strict no live animal or food policy. I'm definitely not storing any animals. Okay, because this is just the second time the security guard has reported noises from inside your unit. And we just want to keep it as clean as possible so, like, the neighbors don't have to deal with, like, any rats or any bugs or anything. If you could possibly come and check in your unit as soon as possible, otherwise, as per your contract, we have the right to open your storage unit while you're not here to make sure that there's no animals in there. Well, the problem is I'm in New Jersey. I'm not in California right now. We can give you, like, two or three more days to have a friend or family never come check in the unit otherwise we will have to open it ourselves yeah i just rather do it myself instead of having you guys go in there so scratching security guards have heard scratching from inside of her storage unit and believe she is storing an animal or something in there or has food loose and there's rats and whatever but she says there's no animals in there there's nothing like that the storage facility has offered Chris two options. One, she can check out the unit herself or have someone come to check it out for her. Just make sure there's no animals and confirm that, or they will break the lock and enter her unit on their own. Chris doesn't want that, so she decides to mail the keys to her friend Kelsey and see if Kelsey will go into the unit and just see what's going on. But the thing is, Chris is in New Jersey for a while, will not be back, and they need someone to go and check on it otherwise they're gonna go open it themselves and I really don't want that to happen so Chris is gonna send me the keys and I'm gonna go check on him and see what's going on guys I'm scared stay tuned after Chris mails her the keys Kelsey goes to the unit to go and check everything out and that's when we see just how much the salt circle was really broken. Kelsey goes on to fix the salt circle and in this clip she gives this entity very like clear instructions saying you have to stay in the salt circle or else we have to go about getting rid of your doll and there's a lot of like kind of crazy stuff coming through on the spirit box. The other ghost hunting devices really just like go off back to back and I'm someone who's really familiar with these things. They don't just do that. There is very obviously something attached to this doll and you kind of just have to hear it for yourself because it seems so aggressive and angry as Kelsey reseals the salt circle. Let's ask if it was him scratching on the unit doors. <gasps> that means it was? Oh, that was confirmation. <laughs> Oh, 
Was it you scratching on the walls? Okay, well you need to stop. Do you understand? Is there a reason you're doing that? Dude, this thing is like so active. You need to stop making noise in here. Do you understand? Did the light just flicker? I swear I just saw the light flicker. I swear it just said Kelsey kill. Okay, you need to stay put. I'm going to redo the salt circle. I close him? He won't close. I'm calling out to the entity with this. You need to stay within the salt circle. You are out of the salt circle. We are going to have to do something to get rid of your doll. Do you understand? I'm asking the entity to stay within this circle. I'm going to open the salt circle so you can go in. I don't know how this works, but go in. All right, the entity needs to stay within the salt circle. You are not allowed to leave the circle. Now we got to make sure the string does not break the salt circle this time. <laughs> You might think that's where the story ends, and I guess to an extent it sort of is. But since then, Chris has been having dreams about the doll. This is my haunted doll, and he came to me in a dream the other night. Guys, this is insane. So a couple nights ago, I woke up from a very traumatic dream. And when I say traumatic, I woke up shaking and crying. This is probably one of the most intense dreams I've ever had, if you even want to call it a dream. I don't even know if it was a dream. What I saw was a very big, tall man coming up my stairs. He had black hair, and his eyes were sunken into his face, and and they almost had a reddish glow. It almost felt like I was remote viewing my own house. So while I was sleeping, I was seeing inside of my house and what was going on in it. He came up my stairs and he broke through my door, came to my room where I was sleeping and I could physically see this man hovering over me. He told me that the entire world was ending and I was the only survivor and that I had no choice but to go with him. In that moment, I just intuitively knew and was being told that this is the entity that is attached to that doll in my storage unit. When I finally came to and realized what was happening, I was in this intense moment of sleep paralysis. He turned into a big mass, like a big black shadow figure, and then slowly disintegrated as I was able to finally move. Later that day, I found a massive bruise on my thigh, like on the front of my thigh. Here's the bruise, and I'm not saying that this was caused from my dream or whatever the hell I experienced, but I do feel like it is really weird that I woke up the next day with this on my leg. And for me to have gotten that, I would have had to like walk straight into something and I don't remember doing that. I am just so f mind blown and I'm terrified. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down below. So she has this dream about this man that ends in sleep paralysis where essentially this thing turns into a gigantic black mass. And something I think is really creepy is that she goes on to say that this haunted doll is showing up in other people's dreams. And when I was still watching these videos, before she had ever made that video, I saw the shadow of a man in my living room. And to this day, I'm still like, what was that? Like, it doesn't, I have chills. Like, it doesn't really align with any of the spirits that I know are in my house. And I kept wondering, like, what was that? Like, what was that thing? But that's not the only strange thing that happens. Chris explains quite frequently that her house is super haunted. She has haunted objects. Her home is just haunted. There's like paranormal happenings all of the time. So she's talking about something paranormal happening in her home in this next video. It doesn't seem related to the haunted doll but just watch and listen and then you'll understand why when i show you the next clip okay so something else happened here in my haunted house so i'm in the corner of my room where the activity seems to pop off the most for whatever reason i mean maybe because i have my haunted dolls back here like in a literal toy chest like i laugh at myself because it's so dumb and i do it to myself but just no I did move the like really crazy haunted dolls back out to my living room. But last night I woke up to what sounded like a literal man screaming, hey, 
in my ear, in my ear. And I turned over and I went right to bed and that was quite the mistake. Okay, I lied, I still have these guys in here. And lo and behold, I woke up like an hour later because it sounded like two men were arguing in my hallway and this is like a common occurrence. And I know I sound crazy, like I'm literally arguing with the ghosts in my house, but when I do ignore them, sometimes they get a little rowdy. Let me know, should I film myself sleeping? Because it's probably quite comical watching me scream at things that most people can't even see. So it's after this video that Chris says that her haunted doll has started showing up in her viewer streams, that her TikTok followers, that people who follow her and like watch her videos and stuff, have started seeing this entity, this thing, this, this like ghost in their dreams. And it's in this video that she talks about that paranormal experience that she referenced last time and what she thinks it means in correlation to the haunted doll. This is my haunted voodoo doll and you guys have been asking for an update so here's what's been going on. So obviously he's still in my storage unit because he is dangerous and he's not coming back to Jersey with me but a lot of you guys have been telling me that he's come to you in your dreams as well. So this is what happened to me last night. So you may have seen that a man woke me up in the middle of the night by screaming hey into my ear and then I woke up a little bit after and it sounded like two men were arguing in my hallway. Well fast forward to last night and my haunted doll came to me in my sleep yet again and it's making me feel like the people that were arguing in my house was the man that haunts it and my voodoo doll last night i was woken up yet again from a terrifying dream this time i saw the silhouette of my haunted doll in my dream he was slowly coming at me from a distance and i was screaming at him to get away it was like slow motion it was so creepy I, I cannot get the vision out of my head so yes he is still in my storage unit out in LA and he has not been touched I will be revisiting him when I go back out there so stay tuned for that I honestly think that the arguing that I was hearing the other night was the entity attached to my voodoo doll and the man that is in my house the spirits in my house are like not bad okay I've, been, I've lived there my entire life they are not bad spirits so we all like live in harmony together you know so if he's coming to like wreak havoc then he's got another thing coming you know what i'm saying if he does come to you in your dreams guys let it be known that he is not welcome this doll is not good it seems at least for now though that via dreams is really the only way that this attachment to the doll is able to contact Chris. With Kelsey resealing that salt circle and taking special precautions to make sure that it wasn't broken by the rope when closing the door again, it really seems like this thing is mostly contained, despite the fact that it still has the time to visit Chris in her dreams, and maybe her viewers' dreams too. But I had to talk about this doll with you guys because I don't think I've ever seen such an aggressively haunted doll before. If you recognize Kelsey in particular, it might be because you've heard of her haunted doll named Lola, who Kelsey makes videos with all of the time. Lola is definitely haunted, has the spirit of something attached to her, and there's a lot of like paranormal evidence and stuff on Kelsey. Kelsey's TikTok, but Lola is like a pretty friendly ghost. Like she's not mean, she's not evil. She's not closing doors and locking them from the other side or entering people's dreams like a total creep. Like whatever this thing is, it's so, so aggressive and seems so just like weirdly vengeful for some reason. I think back to the initial video and how Kelsey said that it was hot when she picked it up and just like how foreboding it all was for where we ended up with this doll. I don't know, I think that in my time talking about more and more TikTok hauntings, you guys have literally watched me become a bit more skeptical or just not as believing or trusting of every single ghost story I see on the internet these days. But this is just one that I believe so wholeheartedly. I think every single bit of that evidence was real. I truly think that they stumbled on this doll. I truly think it's that haunted and that it was what was scratching inside of Chris's storage unit before they resealed it. That being said though, you guys know I love to hear what you have to say about these videos and you know that I only ever am able to do the haunted side of TikTok because of all of you constantly tagging me in your favorite scary videos. So if you ever find anything spooky on TikTok that you want me to make a video about, you can tag me at LoeyBugXO. You can also give me a little follow if you wanna see my content. Sometimes I talk about horror topics on TikTok and react to the scary side of TikTok in short videos before 
before I will ever talk about them on my main channel. Before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to my subscribers who are members of this channel. If you want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive content, including members only videos, polls, updates, exclusive emojis to use in your YouTube comments, as well as loyalty badges, you can click that little join button. It should be somewhere around the screen, probably next to the subscribe button. We would love to have you. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you very, very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!